The AM-GM inequality is one of the most important inequalities in mathematics between the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean. So here we have two non-negative numbers x and y, and this is going to be the arithmetic mean between the two numbers, which is the usual mean we know, and this is going to be the geometric mean between the two numbers, okay, which is the square root of xy, and I'll explain where the geometry comes from, okay, that's going to be a beautiful intuitive explanation of why this is true before we rigorously prove this inequality that appears everywhere in math, you know, it's very common in math olympiads, appears a lot in establishing inequalities, it's one of the fundamental inequalities. So what's the intuition behind it? Well, the intuition behind this inequality is coming from rectangles and squares, believe it or not. So it's super intuitive. Suppose we multiply both sides of that inequality by 4, okay? So left-hand side by 4, we get 4 times the square root of xy, and the right-hand side by 4, we get 2 times x plus y, which is also equal to 2x plus 2y. The way I like to think about this, or the way we think about this, is we take a rectangle with side lengths x and y. Okay, so this looks a little bit like a square, but it's a rectangle where the side lengths are x and y, and 2x plus 2y is going to be the parameter of the rectangle. On the other hand, what is the 4 times square root xy? Well, if you take x times y, that's the area of the rectangle, right? So xy is equal to the area, and now, if we take the square root of xy, that's equal to the side length of a square with the same area as the rectangle. Okay, so the square root of xy is the side length of a square with the same area as the rectangle. Why is this important? Because basically square root xy, if you have a square with that side length, then its area is going to be the square of that. So it's going to be x times y, which is the area of the rectangle. So what this inequality is telling us is 4 square root xy is the parameter of that square, okay? So this is the parameter of that square with area equal to the area of the rectangle. So what that says is among all rectangles with a fixed area, the square is the one that minimizes the parameter, okay? So this is very, very beautiful, that when you take the square with area equal to the area of the rectangle with side lengths x and y, so the side length of that square will be square root xy, its parameter will be 4 times square root xy because there are 4 sides, and that parameter will be less than or equal to the parameter of the rectangle, and equality holds precisely when x is equal to y, in other words, when the rectangle is actually a square. Okay, so it's an optimization problem. Let's prove it now. Now that we've got the geometric intuition, let's get into the proof. So now we've got our geometric interpretation, let's prove the AMGM inequality, and this is a rigorous mathematical proof. So I'll make a comment about this, it's an important point. First of all, we're going to start with the inequality x minus y squared is at least zero. Why we start with this, I'll explain at the end. But this is a fundamental inequality, we know that this is true because perfect squares are always non-negative, and equality holds if and only if, so I'll write this with equality, if and only if, so this symbol means if and only if, precisely when x is equal to y. Okay, so we have this inequality. Now, this is going to lead us to the AMGM inequality because what happens now is we use the binomial theorem. x minus y squared is going to equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, which is going to be at least zero. Again, with equality precisely when x is equal to y. So that's, you know, not entirely obvious by looking at this, but obvious when looking at this. Okay, it's not entirely clear this is at least zero, and equality holds when x is equal to y, but when you see it in this form, it is. And we're going to keep going with this. So we're going to get things that seem less and less obvious. But then the next statement is going to be we're adding 4xy to both sides. So the inequality is preserved if you add a constant to both sides. So we get adding 4xy to both sides, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared plus 4xy is going to be at least 4xy. And then of course what we can do is we can just notice that, you know, collect the like terms so we get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is at least 4xy. And if you're loving my content so far, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm a lot. I'm trying to create elite, infinite, free, accessible math education. If you check out my channel, you'll find hundreds plus videos, depending on when this is released. So many different videos on my channel across all topics and levels. And it makes a huge difference to help the algorithm, help as many people as possible, get exposed to math at all levels. I'm a professional mathematician and I love creating this content. So let's now finish this off. So we say x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is the perfect square of x plus y. Okay, that's again the binomial theorem. So we get x plus y squared is going to be greater than or equal to 4xy. 
So now we're almost done. Okay, so we're almost done because now we've got there, I'm gonna write it at the top of the board. We're now going to take square roots on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna take square roots on both sides. We know that X and Y are non-negative. Okay, that's important. Okay, so we know X and Y are non-negative. Otherwise, it doesn't even make sense to take the square root of X. So it could be the square root of a negative number. But taking the square roots on both sides, we're gonna get X plus Y is going to be at least um, the square root of 4XY which is going to equal to two times the square root of x, y. So dividing both sides by two, that just means that we're going to get half times x plus y is going to be at least the square root of x, y. And we know that equality holds precisely when x is y by the first inequality we started with. And every step of the way, we just added a constant and took the square root. So equality would hold in the final inequality precisely when x is y. So there's the beautiful proof and intuitive explanation of the AMGM inequality. I hope this video helped you master that inequality. And if you love to support the channel and you're enjoying my content consistently gaining value from it, please consider checking out the link in the description for my Patreon or joining as a YouTube channel member. It makes a world of difference and a huge thank you so much to Alex, Nathan and Trang for their ongoing support on Patreon. And I've got two fun videos for you if you want to keep understanding number theory and higher level math. The first video you're going to love is going to be the video that shows the number of divisors of a number n from 1 through n is always less than or equal to 2 times the square root of n. Check it out, it's going to pop up on the screen here and here's another fun video you're going to love. It's about a certain equation and whether it has solutions or not. It's a very beautiful video and great practice with number theory kind of concepts. Check it out here, wish you all the best and I'll catch you in the next video.